Connecting organisations in the UK to benefit from the commercialisation of space technology is crucial for continued growth and prosperity. Satellite Applications Catapult is mandated to accomplish just this. With their unique facilities, they continue to strive to keep the UK space sector at the forefront of business, innovation and growth. Improving life on Earth using data from space. Any vessel that's coloured either orange, yellow or red is a vessel that we believe is associated with the fishing industry. It's an extraordinary view of our planet. Every ship on the oceans over 300 tonnes. So maybe if we just zoom in on Africa then, just to see what's going on. And a radical improvement in what we know about where our food is coming from. What type of fish are they, uh, are they planning to catch? You know, are they using illegal methods? Are they operating you know, in, in an ethical and sustainable way? We can discover this and so much more because of the new generation of small commercial satellites. The economics of space have transformed over the last 20 years. Now we can achieve with a, a satellite the size of a shoebox, which we can make in a relatively small factory you know, anywhere in the world, uh, what it used to take hundreds of millions of pounds to do in a satellite the size of a bus. Uh, and so it's that miniaturization that's really driving the, the, the cost changes in the industry and making it possible to do things at an affordable cost that we just couldn't even dream of you know, a very short time ago. From fishing to deforestation to air pollution and climate change, the Satellite Applications Catapult has helped use data collected in space to make a real difference. For all the billions of pounds that have been spent putting technology up in space, you know, the, what it's really valuable for is improving lives here on Earth. And so for the last 10 years, that's what we've been doing. It's helped grow the UK's vibrant and dynamic commercial space sector by providing industry expertise and connections to organisations looking to better utilise satellite data and support companies at the forefront of the low Earth orbit small satellite revolution by offering the use of space technology facilities at a fair and affordable cost. Cutting edge equipment like the 3D metal printer that systems engineer Laura is showing me here. The technology is called laser powder bed fusion. So it's basically a laser that melts the powder and creates the parts. So the laser is kind of baking the powder into layer upon layer and exactly. building up the structure. Yeah, that's it. And what kind of things can you make with this? So this is, uh, for example, a latest structure. And you can see very, very complex geometries. You couldn't really make this with any other type of technology. And here we also have a rocket engine. Uh, so this is just a demo part, but you can see the different uh, cooling channels that would be there and very intricate geometries that, again, you couldn't make it any other way. As well as fabricating specialised parts that can be sent straight to space, there are also in-orbit simulation robots for any company that wants to model what could occur away from Earth's gravitational pull. What these two robots are doing is simulating the kind of thing that might happen in space. The box on the end of the closer arm here is a tumbling out-of-control satellite. The box on the end of the further arm is a rescue satellite coming along to dock with and help the one that's in trouble. As Chief Operating Officer, Lucy Edge looks after all the Satellite Application Catapult's strategic facilities and infrastructure and manages its technical teams. Accessible resources that could make all the difference to space startups and SMEs on a budget. Here we help companies to come in, use the facilities for the period of time that they need them, and then perhaps go back to the drawing board and make some adjustments. So one of the main goals of any company that wants to accessing these kind of facilities is that they can really speed up their prototyping process. The aim is to help the domestic industry to capture a 10% share of the global space market predicted by 2030. It's the UK saying we have the capability to be really world leading in certain aspects of the future of space. And, and this is one of those areas. We've got heritage here. We've got capability here. We've got students coming out of university with the right skill sets and we've got the facilities. So let's use it. Let's maximise that and really make sure we create a space for people to come and work in. So what's next for the commercialisation of space? Where are we headed? The team is excited to find out. Solar power from space, the idea that you can actually collect solar 
uh, energy in orbit and then transfer it down for use on Earth. Enormous structures in space that unfurl and unfold and perhaps join together. In space we can create different structures and, and properties that we couldn't do in, on Earth. The sky is literally not the limit for the space industry. It's so exciting now some of the ideas that are coming forward about you know, what's, what the future holds. From space you can see and do so much. The satellite applications Catapult is helping us live better on Earth and looking to a future among the stars.